Sí, me dijeron que hay banditos. Ajá, está bueno. Ya está en primero. Ay. <risa> ok. The next stretch after this town, there is a stretch of a couple of kilometers, which is actually quite dangerous. Um, it's very notorious for robberies. So I'm going to now in this town look for the police station and ask them if it's safe or not. I mean, this information that I got is, is one or two years old. So I don't know if it's still happening or not. But if it is, I'm going to ask them to um, give me a police escort uh, until I reach kind of the next place. So let me see. Somewhere. Where is the police station? Con permiso, una consulta. ¿Dónde está la oficina de policía? Allá. Ah. Allá como unas 10 casas. Ah, ok. <laughs> Gracias. I just passed it. Did not see it. Ten houses. One, two, three. Further. She's waving. Here, I got it. Here it is. Hola. 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 Buenas tardes. Ah, una consulta. Sí, diga. Estoy viajando sola en moto Ajá. y me gustaría ir por lado San Pedro. San Pedro. Pero me dijeron que hay un parte del camino uh -huh. que es muy peligroso, que se roban. Ajá. Y entonces no sé si es, si es verdad o ya está seguro. O... Bueno, voy a llamar a los compañeros que me están allá. Ah, ellos pueden ir conmigo. Ellos oh. allá están. Ahí está, están en San Pedro. Ellos están en ah. esa parte. Ah, ok. Entonces usted se va a adelantar y ellos lo van a esperar donde termina el asfalto. Ah, ok. Pero permítame, voy a coordinar eso. Gracias. Es una extranjera. Holandesa. Holandesa. Aquí en la, la oficina. Entonces está, se abocó aquí para pedir apoyo para. De, y aquí del asfalto hacia va para San Pedro ahí va. Es una mujer. Es una motocicleta. No rojo. Sol 104 okay. le va a prestar el apoyo para allá. Entonces, usted voy... adelante si le va a encontrar en la terracería. Después del asfalto, una parte de la terracería, ahí está la, la al, patrulla. Al, al fin de asfalto. Del asfalto para adentro, un poquito para adentro, ahí okay. está la patrulla. Ya están allá. Sí. Ok, ok, voy a encontrar allá. Se aboca usted con ellos, no vaya a ir sola. Sí, sí. Primero okay. habla con ellos. Sí. Usted pasó aquí. Okay. ¿Y cuántos kilómetros más o menos desde aquí hasta el, el punto que donde están ellos? Unos tres kilómetros. Tres kilómetros, ok. Usted está manejando GPS, ¿verdad? Sí. 
Sí. Ok, gracias. Aquí adelante va a encontrar una ruta izquierda, pero esa ruta a Chicacao, Xochitepec, no es... Ok. Que está a dar recto. Ok. Pero ahí le va a decir, ¿no? Sí, creo que aquí va la ruta. Ajá. Esa es la parte, ¿no? Sí. Sí. Es todo esto. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Listo. Muchas gracias por su ayuda. Adiós. Ok, very nice uh, policeman. So, it's about three kilometers from here. The asphalt will stop. And then uh, a little bit further on the dirt, there's a patrol car. 104 is their, I don't know, name, number of the car or the plate. I think he said 104. And uh, they're waiting for me to give me an escort. So I think, the, <laughs> I think it's still real. There's still uh, some banditos. Uh, in that area. Oh, there's the lake. <laughs> That's the first proper view on the lake. Anyway, I'll, I'm sure uh, I'm gonna see more of the lake later. But first, let's get past this part. It's quite cute, hey? now almost uh, on the edge of town. Ah, I think, yes, 104, this must be it. Hola, buenas. Okay, uh, lista? Sí. Sí, ya uh, hablé con su colega. Ah, ya. Yeah. Por allá. Vamos. Ok. Sí, pero solo con cuidado que está bien jodido el camino, muy fregado. Sí, me dijeron que hay banditos. Ajá, ¿todavía? ¿Todavía hay? Pues oh. uh, no se ven cuando nosotros estamos ahí, no se ven. Sí, ah. sí. Yo fui primero o ustedes son primero. Usted, usted Yo, primero. Ok, gracias. Okay. They're gonna follow me. They're riding really slow. <laughs> Maybe I'm going fast. It is stunning here, by the way. So besides the fact that it's a little bit dangerous out here, it is really beautiful. Oh, I think this is actually the part where most of the robberies take place on this steep part. And it's really hard terrain, so you yeah, you can't go super fast in this. It's all rocks hidden in sand. Where are the cops? Oh, there they come. I just make sure that they are still visible before I go around the corner so that if there is somebody lurking in the bushes, they'll immediately see the cops behind me. Definitely uh, a sitting duck, hey? On this, you just can't, you can't go fast here. 
and if they jump you in front, then that's it. This is really rough. I have to say there's quite a lot of traffic, so I guess uh, safety in numbers as well, but it's not easy. This is easy, hard. <laughs> Gracias. Es muy difícil sin... Necesito... Velocidad. No he visto... No he visto esta parte. ¿La manejo? ¿Usted? Si quiere, sí. Pétame. ¿Qué cilindraje tiene? 300. ¿Usted maneja bien? Sí, es alto. Ya. Ya. Ya está en primero. Ay. Ok, es clearly bad. I can't drive. This man is amazing. You can go up. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, yes. But you can drive well, right? Wow, very well. Impressive. Okay. Well, easy. ¿Ah? ¿Puedes? Sí, sí. Si tengo velocidad, no hay problema. Ah, bueno. Adelantito me espera, ya va a terminar esto. ¿Pero? Ya va a terminar a... Ok, a ok. Yeah, I can't blame it on the road. I can't blame it on the tires. He's just a better rider than me. <laughs> This stuff is really hard, eh? Oh! Ah, here's the tarmac. Okay. Are oh, they coming? Oh no, there they come. Desde aquí está bien, no? Uh. No, lo siento. No me vendo. <laughs> Pero usted es muy buen pilota. Sí. Muy bien. Muchas gracias bueno, por todo. Vale, por todo. Va bien. Sí. Muchas gracias. Bueno. Adiós. Bueno. Lo siento. Ay, hay otro. Bueno. Adiós. Suerte. Gracias. They were nice, eh? I think he really enjoyed that. <laughs> he wanted to buy Alaska. Sorry, man. And now another police car passed, so I still have an escort. <laughs> I 
I'll just uh, stay behind this one. I'm all the time hoping for a nice view <laughs> over the lake, but the visibility is still not good, so you can't actually see the whole lake. I mean, it's massive, and it is actually the deepest lake of Central America. And this lake was created by, you can guess it, a massive volcanic eruption that happened 84,000 years ago that created the lake. And it's also surrounded by three volcanoes. Volcano Atitlan, Volcano San Pedro, and another one. I forgot the name of. So, yeah, I'm starting to think that we got to the point that I don't even have to say anymore that something is either a volcano or created by a volcano in the past. <laughs> as long as I keep on riding on the, the ring of fire, that determines the landscape for a very large part. So now I'm entering San Pedro, the town San Pedro. But I'm going to ride a little bit further to a smaller town, which is called uh, San Marcos. Oh, I'm going wrong. Oops. Anyway, I'm, I'm going that way. I'll just go in here then. Ah, well, little scenic detour. Found my way back. It's quite cute. So hopefully I can I'm allowed to go left here. Ah probably not. It's probably one way only to the right. Okay then to the right we go. left here. Puedo entrar aquí? Sí? Oh, gracias. Somewhere. Yeah, I just have to follow this straight up. Then I go back to the I have no idea. This was not really the plan, but okay. <laughs> oh man, where am I going? This is definitely motorcycle only. Tuk tuk. Hola. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> He's backing up. Maybe for once I'm actually riding in the right direction instead of going against traffic. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Hola! <laughs> Is that one? Oh, it's 118. It's another one. <laughs> I thought this was the 119 that I've also already been seeing three times. This is the 118. I'm making friends with the police everywhere. Oh, this goes steep down. Man, oh man. I am back on track, by the way, so yeah, my plan is to go to a town called San Marcos, which is just uh, kind of on the other side of the lake. It's only nine kilometers, so I'm almost there. No, Sam. 
¿No hay un camino eh, acá? Sí, hay camino, pero están eh, pavimentando. Oh, está cerrada. Está cerrado, habilitado ah. hasta la noche. Y no hay otra manera, no hay otra... No, no hay, no hay otra manera, pero es en lancha, en bote. Ah, en lancha. En barco, ajá. Aquí ah. en el mercadero, puede dejar la moto ahí frente a la iglesia y va a pie, así que... ¿A poder tomar mi moto en lancha también? No. 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 Sí, ah. Dejar la moto acá y aquí no pasa nada. Si ah, la moto, solo que se lleva sus cosas. Entre las 6 y 7 de la noche y puede circular hasta San Marcos. Oh, desde las 6 está abierto. Sí, está abierto. De día está, está ah. pavimentando. Por... Sí, pero no, no me gusta manejar en, en la noche. Es, es seguro, sí. no hay que preocuparse. Okay. El lugar es seguro. Ok. Ah, sí. Muchas gracias. Ok, I was going against traffic again. Oops. My navigation was sending me this way, um, but anyway, now he's telling me that uh, I can't actually go where I want to go because they're doing construction and they only opened that road to San Marcos at six and well, it's now uh, not even three, so I'm not going to wait three hours here and I also don't like riding in the dark, so new plan, I'm going to stay the night here. <laughs> in where am I? Yeah, I'm close to San Pedro. Penelo. Is it open? Hello. Buenas. Uh, el hotel. Uh, estoy buscando habitación. Hola, señor. ¿Tiene reservación? No. ¿Por acá? Ok. Buenas tardes. Ah, ya. Yeah. Sí, prefiero este. Sí, sí. <laughs> So this is the room where I'll be staying. Unfortunately, no lake view because this is my view and the lake is there. But I'm really happy with this little outside area. Let's see, so I can work here and relax there if I have time to relax because I have a lot of editing work to do. So I think I'm going to base myself here for a few days and just sit behind my computer. And this is quite a nice place because then I can sit outdoors. Normally I'm always just sitting inside a room for days on end editing and so it's quite nice. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do there and I'm just now going to collect all my laundry and give it to the ladies downstairs because everything got so so filthy today. But uh, what a ride. <laughs> I can't believe that uh, police officer uh, was riding Alaska and he was really good I have to say. And yeah well in my defense I just got to put this out there in my defense. I waited because I saw the bus going up the hill. So I thought, okay, let me wait until the bus is kind of gone so I can keep my momentum, keep on going. Of course, what I couldn't see is that around the corner it kept on going and then there was traffic coming from the other side. That's why I had to stop right in the middle. And then, yeah, well, getting going again is hard if you don't have any momentum. But those are all excuses because he managed without a problem. So totally better rider than me. But that's okay, I'm just really happy uh, that they came with me and I think in hindsight I think there was enough traffic to make it safe. I don't think anything would have happened, um, but you don't know that up front, you only know that when you're already there. So I'm just glad that they came with me, it was really nice. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.